you can spend quite a lot of money on, on fertilizers, but uh, one of the great things, um, just from your natural environment, particularly if you're on an allotment or have a very weedy garden, uh, is to make your own liquid fertilizers. And one of those very popular ones is, is using nettles. So as you can see here, there's a, there's a good bed of nettles. Um, and basically you can make some excellent liquid fertilizer from just plucking those. Um, what you have to be careful of though is that the peacock butterfly does like to, to lay its eggs on nettles. Um, and as they're beautiful butterflies, um, we don't really want to pick those nettles that, that have emerging caterpillars. Often you can see a little webbed area and that's suggestive that um, there's some caterpillars just coming out. So try and avoid those, um, but you'll have plenty of choice, I'm sure. Um, so all you need to do is just tear some off. Great in spring, but obviously you can do it in the summer as well. Okay, and all you need to do, push them up a bit, make them as small as possible. If you have stalks, it might be an idea to chop those up as well because they'll take longer to, um, to, to dissolve. Um, and here's a few that uh, I picked earlier. So we'll get any old bucket like that. Make sure there's no holes in the bottom. Put your, your nettles in there. Push them down. And what you will need to do is make sure they don't keep popping up by putting a brick inside. All you need to do after that is pour some water in. Cover it to the top, or almost to the top. It will create a little bit of a froth. So we're gonna cover that. Add a little bit more if you like. And you need to leave that for about three or four weeks. Uh, the longer the better really and uh, what that will make is a lovely concentrated liquid fertilizer perfect probably for leafy vegetables such as brassicas so cabbages and cauliflowers will do really well you can actually water the foliage of those um, brassicas or just around the roots but really good for that kind of kind of vegetable um, you can also use comfrey leaves if you like. Thing that you need to be aware of with both of them is that after a while they really do smell. So make sure that they're not too close to the house when you do it, you know, because after a while it really will, will smell quite, quite strong, especially the comfrey. Um, once you've done that, um, you know, after about two or three weeks, four weeks at the most, maybe you, you're ready then to use it. What you mustn't do is put the concentrated solution be on, onto your crops because it will be too strong. So what you need to do is dilute whatever you take from here on the ratio of one to 10. Um, and then it won't be too strong for your, for your crops. So you can just manage it in a little bucket. If you wanted to go even further, here's a little old ash bin and it's had um, a tap fitted to it. So with this, Again, same principle. Put all your, your nettles inside um, and make sure it's uh, kept down with a brick and water it. If you want to, you can put all these nettles in a muslin bag, put that inside um, and you know it'll have the same effect as well as, as the brick. So great, easy method, very, uh, not, not time consuming at all, easy to do and a great source of fertilizer for your, for your plants. So give it a try.